Welcome to your new favorite cooking show. Hi everyone, I'm your host Victor and this is the Don't Sassone Cooking Show. A show where we're gonna teach you guys how to use our seasonings in the kitchen to level up your cooking. And there's really no better way to start this show than with my grandfather's carne asada recipe. He started this company over 21 years ago and it's still family run and operated. So I wanna show you guys how he prepares it at home and then we're gonna do it here. Come on. Okay, what's your name? Okay, my name is Antonio Salazar. And how long ago did you create Don Cezanne, Chachi? Okay, uh, it's gonna be about 21 years. Wow. This is your uh, carne asada recipe? This is my carne asada recipe. Okay, yeah. well, you gonna show us how to make it? Sure, yeah. Okay. Why not? First of all, sprinkle a little bit down here in the bottom part, just a little bit like that, okay? Then, we're gonna put a little bit of orange juice in the bottom. That is the best way to do the sun seasoning work with the oranges, okay. The third piece of meat, put on top of this, like that. Real good, like that. Then, sprinkle a little bit as a salt, not too much. Sprinkle like that, you see? Good. Fantastic. And rub the meat like that, okay? You know, the, the top part absorbs the bottom part seasoning. It's marinated already. The whole thing, that's very simple. The next step is put them on the grill, then wait 15 or 20 minutes. Could be 250 or maybe three, 300. Come on, let's go. Listen, cover it up a little bit and control the whole system here in order to get the heat that you need. That's it, why not? Onion. Just rub it down here like that. Clean, clean it up a little bit and keep the flavor of onion in here. Cover it up, 250 or 300 and put the meat on. Okay, number one. This way, good. And this way, you have to cover it up. And watch it this, almost 300. Good. You see? That's good. Let me see how it work. You see? Yeah, not salty, cook fine, good. Well, thank you for showing me all that, Jojo. Okay, Papa, thank you, you, I Papa. Love it. It's simple and everyone can do this at home. Yep, yeah, so. that's simple. Okay. Okay, Papa. Two. Hmm? Two. Okay. <sighs> wow. I don't know about you guys, but I love that. Watching how much that man loves to cook and knowing how many years and time and effort he put into creating all the products that we make here today at Don Sassone is really just mind blowing. And now we're gonna take his simple steps and we're gonna recreate it here in the kitchen so you guys can do this at home by yourselves. So I'm gonna grab everything I need to prep and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's lay it all out. We got our orange juice, got our meat, and we got Don Sassone meat seasoning. This is the key ingredient. So first thing we're gonna do, like my grandpa said, sprinkle a little bit of the base to season the backside of the steaks. Beautiful. Now this might get a little messy, but what we're gonna do is add the orange juice like he did. Okay, I'm gonna mix this around a little bit just to Make sure I have a coating on the meat. Okay, now we're gonna grab a beautiful cut of meat. Wow, look at this gorgeous piece of meat. It's a little too big for our grill, so I'm actually gonna cut it in half. 
Okay, so we take our beautiful piece of meat and we lay it down in the seasoning orange juice mixture. Next, we grab our Don Sassone, sprinkle on top. Beautiful, and because these cuts are a little thinner, you don't have to use that much to get all the flavor out. A little bit of OJ on top. Okay, and we're gonna mix it in. Now the fun part with all this actually is when you mix it in, you're really seeing the bright red tones, like the Don Sassone brings out the color of the meat. And if you like to get messy with your hands, this is just kind of fun to massage the uh, seasoning in. And we'll let that marinate for about 20 minutes. I'll be back. While we're waiting for the steak to marinate, it's actually a great time for you guys to like the video and comment down below. Let us know what you think of the video because we have plenty more of these recipes to come out. We have so many products here at Don't Sasson and we're gonna show you how to use every single one of them in a variety of different ways every single week. Also, don't be afraid to message us on Instagram or YouTube because we wanna know how you guys use Don't Sasson in your own kitchen. If you guys have your own recipes, let us know. We'll try to recreate them. Okay, it's looking like this is just about ready. So now I'm actually gonna move it to the side and preheat my grill. So with the grill, I have an electric one, but like my grandfather said, you kinda wanna keep it between 250 and 300. And you're gonna watch it because the cook time is really relative based on the cut of steak. I personally like a little bit more charred ends than my grandpa. So I'm gonna go for 300 and make sure I get those really nice dark lines. All right, onion, can't forget that. So. Take the head of an onion, cut it off, and we're gonna wipe the grill top down with it. Like my grandpa said, this is just gonna help clean some of the grill top off and leave this residual good onion flavor for when you're grilling the steak. Let's cut this up. Okay, got my head of the onion, put this in, and yeah, it's feeling warm enough to wipe this down. Oh, you can already start smelling the onion and it freaking kills me, it smells so good. Yeet! Okay, with the onion out, close that, let it tell me when it's ready so we can slap that steak on. She's ready, all right. <sighs> Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Right here, should hear nice sizzle when this hits the grill. Perfect, perfect, and we're gonna close that up, let it cook. Oh yeah, already you can just start to smell it. I am currently at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I just gotta check on it. Oh, already. Ooh, already it's looking so good. Let that stay on there a little longer. Actually gonna grab tongs. Wanna check the underside really quick. See what kind of color we're getting. Yeah, do you see that? Almost there, actually. Starting to get a pretty good sizzle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this bad boy over. Just looking pretty good. Close that lid back down. Now, if you weren't thinking it already, this steak is perfect for tacos. It's traditional like carne asada taco meat, it's really good, it's thin, fast to cook, and you can make a lot of it. Now, it's good for other purposes too. I mean, if you just want like a light steak dinner, you can do that. But for me, it's tacos or nothing. So when the meat is done and resting, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some taco fixings to make ourselves one delicious taco. Change of plan, while it's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some taco stuff. Mix that in. Kind of just take like a quarter wedge of lime here. We're gonna just squeeze that in. Move our steak over to the front here. How are we looking on this? Beautiful, that's what I want right there. We're gonna go ahead and pull this off. Turn up the heat a little bit. Got a plate. Radishes on here. I feel like ratatouille. Remy from ratatouille. Take my steak. Look at that. Super tender. Taste a little piece. 
Mm. Delightful. Move my plate over. Tortillas. Okay, move those like this. And I'm going for like, I mean, the base level simple taco. You can do other things. You can add, you know, beans as a base, pico de gallo, all these other things. But I just want a really nice, simple, easy taco. Let's try this. Wow. Let me go ahead and tell you why this is so great. The Don Sassone has garlic, onion, all these delicious ingredients pre-made that lift up all the flavors of the meat you're cooking. Not to mention salt, natural flavor enhancer. Put all that together with this delicious onion, cilantro, serrano, and lime, it's game over. Best tacos you'll ever eat, courtesy of my grandfather. With all that said, you guys can tell these tacos are super easy to make, super delicious. Buy your own bottle of Don Sasson and cook them at home at www.donsasson.com. We have so many other products too. And like I said before, if you have any recipes of your own or you got photos you wanna share, tag us, message us. We wanna see and hear it all. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we are going to be releasing videos every single week teaching you how to use a new product. So that way you guys can cook anywhere at any time for anyone. I'm Victor, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next week with a new episode of Don't Sasson Cooking Show.